did, what I did was I put peas in there, canned peas, they're frozen beans, um, fresh corn, it was um, canned tomatoes, and um, some chicken broth that Eva had. Um, and then I got like a, a container, I threw it away already, but plastic container with um, onions and carrots and celery. Sauteed that in there at first with the olive oil. And then um, I put just a little bit of garlic, so like that much garlic, and then some ginger. I grounded it up and I put it in there and I made this veggie soup because I'm coming off the fast today. So my mom, for the last however long, years, has been telling me to take the apple cider concoction that she makes. And I'm like, ugh, like, I don't feel like I really need that. She kept telling me to take it. Well, over the past maybe year, I've seen a major weight loss for her. Um, and she doesn't try her diet. She doesn't try to change her diet at all. So seeing her lose that weight. And then she's got my uncle on it. And my uncle was losing a lot of weight. And my grandmother, she was losing a lot of weight. So I said, there must be something to this. I started researching. And yes, it has great factors, benefits. Um, and I'm like, I'm on this health journey. I might as well try this um, for everybody else and see what the big deal is and if it's worth it. After all the YouTube videos that I watched about apple cider vinegar, I'm gonna make one right now so that you guys can have another opinion on what this stuff can do for you. Like I said, this is just an opinion. This isn't, um, doctor's orders. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician, I'm not a nutritionist. It's just strictly my opinion So um, and my experience. Going to take around two weeks for this project. Um, so there will be another video kind of giving you my answers. This video is more likely just to show you the facts of what it does, pros and cons, how I make the drink and a lot of my food prep. I will show you different ways of making the concoction um, and tell you different ways of how you can make the concoction so that you can do it the way that you would desire. This concoction is way a little bit more, not complicated, but has a little bit more um, characters in the story because um, I'm doing this for more than just losing weight. Yeah, let's get to it. I'm starting off with three cups of water. Um, and so we're going to put that with one shot of apple cider vinegar. Um, so you would want to get the apple cider vinegar with, which says the mother on it because it comes with the enzymes and everything to help burn the fat and flush you out. So yeah, I do a shot which is a little bit more than recommended per day but if you have it diluted enough then you should be fine also if your system can take that much much acid you'll be fine but next thing I do is I put two or three squirts of lemon juice in the water to kind of give it that lemony taste um, this is not necessary this is kind of additional but then you put in a fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon. The cinnamon helps with lowering your blood pressure and maintaining that. The red cayenne pepper um, can be super spicy, so I do like not even half of a eighth of a teaspoon. And honey, um, just enough to give it a little taste. You don't wanna put too much honey in it because it can counteract what you're trying to do as far as weight loss. Um, and also with the honey, um, I do one squirt from the bottle. Here I'm using an, um, a mixer, um, so a frother, that's something that you can use for like green tea and stuff, but I use it for that. It kind of helps mix the cinnamon. The cinnamon's hard to mix. Here's a final product. Um, I'm absolutely loving it. 
So I drink from the third to a half a cup in the morning, and then I drink the rest at night, or you can do the opposite. Excuse me, guys. I'm trying to speak more clearly. I've noticed in my editing that I don't speak clearly and I make myself mad. I actually made myself really mad, so mad the last time. I was like, what am I even, what am I even saying? I drink three cups a day, but I only drink a cup and a half each session. So I drink a cup, a cup I drink a cup and a half in the morning and I drink a cup and a half at night before I go to bed. What I've noticed is that it's been making my throat raw and my vocal cord raw. But I don't know what to really do to combat that. As soon as I finish the apple cider vinegar concoction, I drink a whole bunch of water. So kind of just dilute whatever is destroying my throat um, to make me not sound like I have coronavirus. <laughs> I do chug the apple cider vinegar, so that's probably what's happening, but I also am not drinking it like it's tea because you really can't. You have to um, drink it with a straw. And my mom's like, no, you don't have to drink, you don't have to just drink it with a straw. You have to put the straw like at the, to the back of your throat almost, and like it can't touch your teeth because apple cider vinegar will ruin your teeth if you let it. You'll look skinny, but not have any teeth, okay? And I don't want that. I wanna look nice, beautiful, small with all of my teeth. So we're figuring this out as we go, people. But so far, um, it's been fine. I've had the first day back to the apple cider vinegar concoction, actually had really bad heartburn and I don't get heartburn much at all so that was different but I was also I had um vegetable soup which I did not have much liquid in at all um but you saw how beautiful it was it smelled great it tastes great I cannot wait to make some more meals with that because that was just fantastic so here I am, I'm gonna show you the same thing, but with half the water. So of course, apple cider vinegar uh, is the main product here. And of course, like I said, this is uh, well, one and a half cups of water and the same measurements for everything. Now, I did this when I was on the fast and it was really, really strong. I didn't taste really a difference as far as having three cups instead of one and a half cups, but I think, the three cups would be better, but if you're in a hurry and trying to get it down, then that would be fine. I definitely see a difference in my skin, if that makes sense. Like, when you start to lose weight, you can see it, like, in your skin. Like, that's what I see. I know, I know that I'm definitely losing inches, um, so that's, that is very, very exciting. Um, the thing for me, I think this week is that my appetite has gotten, gotten, sorry, appetite has gotten stronger. And it, I don't think that's because of the apple cider vinegar. I think it's just because I'm lifting more weights and I'm drinking more protein as well. Um, but yeah, I do, I don't know if I notice anything with my teeth, uh, but I do drink the apple cider vinegar with a straw, which you have to because... I hear that one of the side effects is that it will weaken your enamel. So right after I drink the apple cider vinegar, I brush my teeth. Um, let me back up a little bit to let you guys know what some of the benefits are. Um, it reduces bloating. It lowers your blood sugar or it maintains your blood sugar, maintains your blood pressure. Uh, it helps with your skin and nails helps with weight loss and it helps whiten your teeth now some of the bad things about it is that it can weaken your enamel um, it can burn the back of your throat it can make you way more like it gives you it can give you way more heartburn I talked to a 
my friend today and he has to basically take meds for his heartburn so he tried the apple cider vinegar thing um and he just couldn't do it because the heartburn was 10 times worse for him and so he had to stop for me i had heartburn my first day and after that the heartburn like went away i can drink coffee in the same day now i can do a whole lot of other things that are acidic but the first couple days my body was like um no um i haven't seen or felt anything differently um as far as a negative thing oh another positive thing is that it helps with your sinuses um i have pretty bad sinuses and i know that like there's been two mornings i i woke up woken up and i've had a little bit of pressure in like my sinuses and i drank the apple cider vinegar because i drink it every morning and every night and it drained my sinuses yeah, I've noticed a massive change in my arms, a massive change in my legs, in my skin even. Um, when I was fasting, I was also doing the apple cider vinegar concoction by itself. And my roommate had left on vacation. She came back home. She said, wow, your skin, your skin, your skin. And she just couldn't stop talking about my skin. So I was like, okay, I know this apple cider vinegar stuff is working because that was the only thing I was drinking all week other than water. Um, during the fast uh, so far it's been mind-blowing like how good it is it's just because of the cons you have to be very very careful with taking this do not take apple cider vinegar by itself um that will destroy your enamel and it will destroy destroy the back of your throat <laughs> i actually tried it um about two years ago by itself it was a shot of outside vinegar and let me tell you like it's it's a death threat <laughs> i'm still here still here but yeah